Hey guys, I want to go through this. All right, uh, a couple weeks ago, guys, I had a I had a ten year old do the move. Uh, this move's been out there out there for about four or five years, guys. Uh, guys, the first time I saw this move, we'll start with it. Uh, first time I saw this move, guys, I was in Omaha, Nebraska, for the NCAA tournament. I think it was like five years ago, and I was there, guys, and I got me a big bowl, bowl of popcorn, big Pepsi. I love Pepsi. Sitting up in the stands, I love to watch this round. It's called the All-American Round. Some people call it the Blood Round. Whoever wins that match is an All-American. Whoever loses that match, of course, goes home. All right. And all of a sudden, the lady announcer at the NCAA, she's been doing it for 20-some years, maybe 30. Her name is Sandy Stevens. I'm sitting up in the, in the crowd, and here's what I hear. All eyes ought to go to mat number four. We got potential overtime match. All right. Instantly, I looked down to mat number four, like probably the other 15,000 people. And they said, on mat four, we got Daryl Vasquez from Cal Poly versus Matt Stoniolo from Oklahoma. All right. I don't know if you guys know, Daryl Vasquez has been a one four-time state champ from California. One is Daryl Vasquez. He went to Cal Poly. Matt Stoniolo was from, I think, State College, somewhere in Pennsylvania. He went to Oklahoma. All right. Anyway, they got a 4-4 four, four top. 30 seconds left in the match. It goes into overtime. 4-4. Four, four. Everyone's watching the match. And I could be wrong, but I think Vasquez hit a real slick head inside single on Stoniolo. One of the fastest head inside singles, almost went to a chase the ankle, and then guys, I saw something that I've never really seen before. All right, some people call this move a whirly bird, some people call it a Jonesy, all right? And uh, here's what happened. Stony Oak actually pinned me from this. Now watch, I'm gonna have Bull do the move here. Guys, do I like the move? No, I actually hate the move. But here's the deal, guys. I wanna show you guys this move in case someone tries to do it. What's amazing, guys, at Graham High School, my guys get taken down with a barrel roll every year. I have two or three of my big guns get taken down with a barrel roll. And you guys, I never show a barrel roll. I never show a fireman's carry. You know why, guys? I don't think it's high percentage. I don't think in college, guys, that's a high percentage move. Why do you think my guys get taken down with a barrel roll, fellas? They don't know. They don't know. Why do you think? Yeah, we, we don't ever hit it in the room, guys. So my guys don't know what it feels like. You know what, guys? Last year, I started showing a barrel roll. Just so my guys know what it feels like when it's coming. Same thing with this move, guys. All right, and again, probably the best guy I've seen in college with it right now is probably Jordan Oliver. He gets all kinds of turns with it. Here's the move, guys. I want to show you guys just so you guys wear it. Now, when, when I'm going to do this, do it the way I tell you to do it, guys. I don't want you guys to hurt your shoulder. I hit a head inside single. I'm kind of in that macaroni position. I want my inside hand, my right hand, to be below the knee, down towards the ankle. See where my, see where my hand is? It's right between his knee and his ankle. And I've stepped over. Here's what happened. Vasquez hit a head inside single. All right. Matt Stoniolo did this. He took his left knee, which is the leg I got, and his head, and he tried to take it 180 degrees back towards Vasquez's butt. Go ahead. And then he threw his right leg all the way over top, right to here. Look how tight Bull is to me here. Still got the close wizard. And then, guys, Matt Stoniolo took his hand, rest up the cross from the back side, and grab his own foot. Here's the key, guys. Bull's going to take his right foot and kick it right towards the mat. Here, Vasquez went right on over. All right. Again, a lot of guys in Pennsylvania call this the Jonesy. I swear that's where it originated at. Maybe the, I think this guy named Jones originated. I don't know. I call it the Whirly Bird. And guys, there's a lot of kids that are really good with this one. A lot of guys from PA are phenomenal with this one. All right. A lot of guys from New Jersey are unreal with this move. Like I said, guys, a couple weeks ago, a 10-year-old kid he had a single leg on it. He did, did it uh, on a weekend camp. He's like, where'd you learn that move? I don't know. My old brother showed it to me. Oh, okay. But guys, it's kind of a slick move. All right. Oh, you end up the same thing. You end up the exact same position you kind of do on a broomstick. And I hate this move, too. A broomstick is this. While you drop down and catch the knee and pull the guy back to here, that's kind of a broomstick. At least that's what I call it. You end up almost in the exact same position as a broomstick. Now, I'll partner. Help your guy out to get it. Here's how I help the guy get it, all right? I hit the shot. He's got his ankle. I'm going to take my right hip, and I'm going to get parallel with Bull here. Instead, or excuse me, perpendicular. Instead of me being parallel with Bull here, I'm going to turn this way right here just to help him out a little bit. He's going to throw his right leg all the way over my back right here. All right, guys, it's really tight on my shoulder here. Then Bull's going to reach up from the cross, and he's going to grab his own foot. 
And then, guys, he just pulls down here, and it pulls him right on over. Vasquez, he knew he was beating, it was over time. He ended up getting pinned from there. Usually, guys, I don't think you're going to get pinned from there. Hey, guys, there's some guys that are so good with this move. I've seen Jordan Oliver come out there, have his left leg forward. As soon as the guy hits a shot, he drops right down, he takes off spinning, and throws his leg up over the back. And, guys, you get some serious pressure on the guy's shoulder. Again, guys, don't be above the knee. It's really going to hurt my shoulder. I want your hand between his knee and his ankle. Does that make sense, guys? Any questions? We're just going to spend a couple minutes on this. The whirly bird. Let's go.